Hello, this is H.G. Bailey. And I'm J.B. And welcome back to Let's Play Second and Setsu 3! Since last time, uh, I actually just realized I gotta do the class change before buying the new armor there, or new equipment, at Padan. So, in order to do the second class change, you gotta get back to the end here. Uh, let's see, do I have them in my inventory? Uh, oh, okay, they're in my, uh, well, my other inventory. You go up to a pot here, you can plant a seed, and in order to get the class changing item, you need to use those question mark seeds. Hmm. So, what you want to do is, well, first off, save before you do anything, or you could use a save state however you want to do it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, oh, yeah, let's just save here. Oh, I haven't saved in a while. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> I've been playing 10 hours straight! But anyway, you go up to a pot, you can plant a seed there. Hey, hey, all right, I got one of the ones I wanted. But basically, you're looking for an item that will give you the class change you want. Wow, two in a row. I may not have to use my trick after all. <laughs> There's a way you can manipulate the contents of the seeds. Uh, the way it works is, let's say you get an item that you don't want. You reload your save file, kill an enemy, rest up at the end, save, reset, and plant it again. Why is killing an enemy critical? Somehow it, uh, it does something to the random number generator. Hmm. I don't know why. It does work, though. You do have to do that. And apparently I don't need to use that trick, because I got all the items I needed right away anyway. Yay. So, well, there you go. So anyway, in order to class change, you need to go to a mana stone. But all the mana stones are gone. Whatever shall we do? Well, I don't know how you're supposed to know this, but you gotta go to the mana holy land. So, yeah, this is the uh, not-so-newbie-friendly part of the game. But, oh well. Outside of that, it's a great game. It just doesn't exactly tell you all this stuff. So, I guess they kind of expect you to figure it out. This place isn't doing so good. Hmm. What's with all these stone platforms? I and mean, what, did people used to live here? Probably a temple. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, people aren't supposed to be able to get here. Well, that's to that. But anyway, what you gotta do in order to class change is you gotta get up to this platform here with the uh, proper item, just like that book back in... Uh, uh, what was that town? Forsena said, you gotta be at level 38, you gotta have the item you want, and you gotta get back over here. And we have all that, so let's give it a try now. Focus. Now the way you're supposed to know which item you want is if you go to the item menu, let's see, Oh, okay, you can't see it here. Oh, right, I gotta get it out of my inventory. Never mind. Just take a moment here. <laughs> but yeah, basically, if you look at the item in your item menu, it'll have a class name on the item in the item description there. So that's how you're supposed to know. And you can only get items for job classes that you can transform into, so there's... It's not that hard. If you've got like six of those class changing seeds, you'll be fine. So, okay, let's take a look. See, Arcane Book makes you Grand Divina on the right there. That's the job class for it. You've got Ninja Master on the Bullseye Die and Star Lancer. Notice Star Lancer is the only one that has an exclamation point next to it. I think the other ones did too, but they were off center. Oh, I guess. But still, Star Lancer is easily the best job class in the game. Bar none. You cannot beat the Star Lancer. All of its spells are amazing. And if you put a Star Lancer in any party, it will work. <laughs> Pretty much. The nice thing about the Star Lancer is that it has multi-targeting buffs. So it makes boss fights a lot faster. Yay. You can use it with magic parties, melee parties, you name it. And it's got a really good summon, too. All of Lisa's job classes get a summon for their class. So, let's uh, do Angela now. 
Now, as you saw from the item there, I was, I'm going with Grand Divina. Originally, when I did my test run, I wanted to use Archmage, but uh, I changed my mind because Grand Divina has one more point of strength to the cap than the Archmage does, and you also get one more point of intelligence. Uh, the reason I originally wanted to go with the Archmage is because you get one more point of spirit, which helps with uh, Saint Beam, and a lot of enemies in the final dungeons are going to be weak to Holy. But, well, I figured Strength is probably going to be more useful for what I want to do now. So, alright, there we go. Why don't you just uh, get on up there and do your class change. Come on. Uh, Move oh, it. Oh, okay. You fall asleep there or something? Almost. <laughs> not paying attention. You know? <laughs> You're controlling it, not me. But anyway, okay. Got to do the Michael Jackson pose. Absolutely. I do a Michael Jackson impression, but uh, my voice can't get that high. <laughs> so okay, you want to get to the item menu and select the bullseye die. So this is where it's going to change from what we did in the first LP. Because uh, as a ninja master, Hawk is going to be more magically inclined. All of his jutsus multi-target. It is ridiculously good. Hmm. Now he doesn't get a lot of as much strength as the Nightblade would have. So there is a trade-off for it. But in the magic-based party, it is huge. You will see why. Starlight Answer and Ninja Master, I mean, you got multi-targeting buffs, multi-targeting debuffs, the most powerful magic in the game. It is obscene. If only we had this when we were fighting the God Beasts, but now, no. Yeah. That is the only thing, is that the, uh, uh, what is it? You don't get the job classes until, like, the last 10% of the game. Yeah, maybe 15%, but... But the last dungeons are rather long. So, compared to the rest of the game, so... Okay, now that we've... Oh, right, I gotta get the uh, drum out of my inventory. Uh -huh. But anyway, now that we've gotten our job classes, now we can go to Padan. Well, I suppose we could have gone there before, but I don't think they would have had the equipment in the shops that I would have wanted. Is, yeah. oh, is there any way you can sort out that uh, item menu? Uh, you can put everything away one at a time. Yeah, yeah, you can only do it manually, I'm afraid. Oh, well. I was thinking about something with, uh, the stuff. Oh, yeah, at Padan. Uh, they, or with any armor shop or weapon shop, really, uh, they only sell items for, equi equipment for your job classes that you are right now. So, that's why they, you don't want to... I mean, that's why you want to class change before going to Padan here. So remember what, uh, who was it, Chiquita? Whatever, one of those Edas. Uh, Judge Ida? No, no. Uh, you want to, uh, er, Chiquita was saying that they got some new equipment over at Padan, so let's go check it out. Now that we've defeated, well, most of the God Beasts, except for that one guy. We don't know where it is. But once you've defeated most of them, you can get into the inn here and rest up. So, let's go see see where the shops are. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so once you uh, rest up at the inn, the village shows up, just like the Mirage Village in Final Fantasy V. That was a cool place. Yeah, I like this place. Huh? Where is the eighth? They were saying it was in the underworld or something. Or something. Ah, well, where is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta talk to this person in order to unlock wherever your final dungeon is. Whether it's Duran and Angela, uh, they have their own. Hawk and Lee have their own. And Kevin and Carly have their own. So this is where you're gonna have a unique dungeon. So if you're on Kevin's path, you wanna watch that LP. If you're on Duran or Angela's path, well, we haven't done that one yet, but well, we'll get there soon enough, if you want, soon enough. Okay, how's it going? Well, yeah. 
That's why we're trying to stop. The forces of the underworld and their balloons! Yeah. The terrifying balloons! Now let's see, uh, that guy there sells some weapons, but I want to get some armor before we do that. So the weapons here are really expensive. If you need to skip on them, don't worry about it. Oh, well, the Dragon Emperor was kind of assassinated back at the uh, Holy Land there. Hmm. I do like how they tell you about the other two paths, though, as long as you're here. Even though you can't do that. Well, you could put a gun under your pillow. <laughs> that helps you sleep at night. Oh, Castle of Light. Well, where is it? Oh, that must be right next to the Cave of Darkness. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Oh. They must have awesome music there. Well, anyway, once you get here, let's go buy some armor. You also want to buy the headgear here, because it's the best headgear that you can buy. So let's go do that. Okay, we're good to go. I'll... Oh yeah, by the way, uh, let's check out the weapon shop, too, while we're at it. I'm probably not going to have the money because I haven't sold my armor yet, but you want to get the armor first because it's relatively cheap, and, oh, I can get some stuff. Alright. But yeah, I, I want to get at least a weapon for Lease, maybe for Hawk if I can. But, uh, well, we'll see. You can skimp on Angela if you need to. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Got all the new weapons and armor. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't able to afford the new weapon for Angela, but I'm not worried about that. Because, uh, well, we're, we're going to get some ultimate equipment after this anyway. So I figured let's just buy whatever we can and we'll get the rest, well, later. Just hope it's not as rare as the ultimate equipment in Secret Armada. There's the Dark Castle. It wasn't too rare. I thought it was rarer than this, but yeah. I mean, this stuff you don't even really need to farm. It's common, practically. Hmm. Yeah. So anyway, let's check out the Cave of Darkness here. See, first things first, I want to use Earthquake on the Petite Tiamat because they're, well, they're weak to it, so. And if I can, I'd like to get Water Jutsu on the, what is that, Nightblade? I think it's a Nightblade. So, let's get that on him, because he has a nasty full screen test that will kill you! Lighting here kind of reminds me of the uh, haunted houses in a uh, Super Mario World. Ah, yeah. This is why we use Water Jutsu! Nuts. Yeah, that could have dealt, like, double that damage, almost, with that. Okay, we didn't get it, but... Uh, anyway, this is where I'm going to do my level grinding. See, we want to get Water Jutsu on the Wolf Devil there, because he has a full screen tech also. And all these guys are weak to light, but I'm only going to use it on the Ghost, because I don't want to. I want to kill the Wolf Devil last. Uh, while I'm level grinding here, I'm going to. Uh, you want to kill the Wolf Devils and the Night Blades last, because they can drop what are called Weapon Armor Seeds. And if you plant them, you can get some of the ultimate equipment in the game. I would recommend farming, like, at least 9, maybe 12 of those if you can, and hopefully get enough, uh, what's it, yeah, yeah, fi farm like 9 to 12 of them, and try to get the 3 ultimate weapons and the 3 ultimate armors, uh, or body armor, that is. If you can do that, you'll be in really good shape. Uh, put 2 points... Uh, I'm from leveling up into Vitality with the ultimate body armor and you'll max out your defense at 300 so you'll be in really good shape. Yeah, you see, there you go. We got the weapon armor seats. We actually got something on command. And now I'm just going to grind up to level 43 and then we'll continue through the Cave of Darkness. Next time on Let's Play Seiken Setsu 3! I'm H.C. Bailey. And I'm JB. Signing off. Have a good day. <laughs>